Got another indication today that Trump hasn't taken Taylor Swift's endorsement of Kamala Harris well. He wrote on social media, I hate Taylor Swift. Um, but surely this reaction, Kosher, won't go down well either, given she is literally one of the most popular figures in, well, not just the US, but globally. Yes, I think, you know, that's Trump being Trump with uh, his four-worded tweet that drove all these media cycles. I think the whole Taylor Swift thing, um, it's great for commanding attention in the media cycle and sucking up the oxygen, just given the, the name uh, brand that she is, and, and Trump knows how to play into that, for better or for worse. I don't know that she's really going to influence too many opinions of undecided voters, the few remaining ones in, in the swing states. But the biggest value she brings is potentially her contributions to a database of voters, because since we don't have mandatory voting in the U.S., as you know, it, so much about it is the turnout game and the machinery of both parties being able to target those last few remaining voters who may not have turned out to vote in the swing states. And she's got this database of hundreds of thousands of concert goers, people that are typically low propensity voters because they're young and they're not inclined to, to show up at the polls. And if she can convert even one to two percent of those people to show up and vote, uh, that potentially is problematic. And I think that the counter to that to that is going to be the Republican Party doing everything they can to drive turnout from their base to counter what I would call the Taylor Swift database effect. Yeah. I think it is possible, though, that people like their favourite pop star but don't necessarily follow their political insights. And as many have pointed out, she is the woman famous from making wrong decisions, at least when it comes to men. So there you go. Look, just 20 seconds, uh, Kosher. There's uh, claims on social media. We don't know if they're credible or not. They're probably not credible that a US whistleblower uh, says that the questions were given to Kamala Harris before the debate. Yes, you know, regardless of the veracity of those comments, I think what it's highlighting and underscoring is what we all saw with our own eyes in terms of the lopsided nature of the moderators and that. What's interesting here is it's getting a lot of weight and traction from people like Bill Ackman and Elon Musk that are asking Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, that's the parent company of ABC, to investigate, yeah. which is interesting. But other than that, as you say, who knows what's going to come from this. All right. Always great to have you on the show, Koshigata. Thank you.